boys and girls. Hi, I'm Miss Santana. Welcome back. Today we're going to be learning about some of the science tools that we'll be needing to conduct our lab experiments and of course to stay safe in the lab. Well, to help you with that, we're going to have Miss Rodriguez and Miss Gonzalez. But before we begin, you're going to need your science journal and a pencil. And if you want, you can also download your tools worksheet that's on Schoology. Okay, we're going to go ahead and invite Miss Gonzalez okay. and Miss Rodriguez to come and help you with some of these tools. Hi guys, welcome Hello. again to science. I'm Miss Rodriguez and I'm going to be your fourth grade teacher in science. And I'm Miss Gonzalez and I'm going to be your third grade teacher of science. Welcome. And today's text is this one. You can read it and copy in your journal. Yes, please do it. Copy in your journal. Before we begin, a safe practice is to tie your hair back Put your goggles on and use hand sanitizer. Okay, so today we are going to talk about the tools classification. Let's go to start. We have the beaker. I saw you the goggles. We have the Holland. You can use it and look at how it's working. You have your gloves. You can put on your hand and protect yourself. And then the most important, you need a notebook for write all the things that you are going to learn this year. Of course, we have mirror stick. And the graduate cylinder, we are using also for the liquids. We have here our measuring tape we can use to measure everything <laughs> and the aquarium where we are going to use also experiments you will see in the next videos yeah i love it we have here the triple beam balance in which you can put things like this and then you have the apron how miss gonzalez is wearing or you can also use this kind of one we have here the eyedropper. It's just to try to put liquid. And once you have this liquid, you can use the microscope and you can see the cell. Mm -hmm. And so we have here our thermometer. To measure the temperature. And once you know that you have the stopwatch, you can stop it and put the timer when you need it. And here is the funnel. You can use it to put liquids in here, like this. And the last and more important thing, you have a pen that you will use to write on your notebook. And ladies, let's not forget the syringe. You're gonna need this to add some liquid into some containers or cylinders, beakers, and whatnot. Okay, okay. so bye that's bye. it. Bye bye. See you see next you. video. See you next time. Bye bye.